Survivors of sexual assaults are coming forward to denounce the treatment that they have received from the San Francisco Police Department. Supervisor Hillary Ronan invited them to City Hall to hear their claims and look for some solutions. ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez reports. The monster who raped me is still out there. I learned that I was raped. Unlike many victims who are drugged and raped, I remember being raped. One by one, survivors of sexual assault told their stories to a committee led by San Francisco Supervisor Hillary Ronan. Just as distressing was the response they say they received from the Special Victims Unit within the San Francisco Police Department. We'll call this woman Jane Doe. For the police to insinuate that it was somehow my fault, that I, you know, maybe forgot that I consented, like it's absurd. Jane Manning is with Women's Justice Now, an advocacy group. And many victims have described this to me as being worse than the rape itself. At today's hearing, it was revealed that data collected at San Francisco General Hospital found that from 2016 to 2017, there was a 20 percent increase in the number of sexual assault patients coming to general. Yet the number of arrests or even prosecutions had not gone up during that same period. After hearing these stories, what's going to happen next? What's going to happen when you leave this room and talk to the chief of police today? I asked him the same question. What are you going to tell him? Well, I'm going to discuss with the chief, and, and he's aware of it. We've had these discussions in the past, you know, where we can do better as a department. Similar to the reforms that we were in, it's always about getting better as an agency and the services we provide to the community. The police department also said it recently started to form partnerships with advocacy groups to better serve survivors. The district attorney's office also publicly apologized today to these women.